One of the questions I had about A Plague Tale Innocence after playing it for the first time was, why did Beatrice allow herself to get caught by Nicholas? It's a very odd scene, so I replayed the entire game to check if I missed something. And it turns out that it was just a simple story flaw. She really did just stop by the door to get herself caught for no good reason other than to set up a later plot twist. So all I could think about was, why was it so important that the mother be caught by the enemy? This, my friends, led to a much more important realization that encompasses the whole game, which is the topic of this video. If you played the game already, you probably noticed that the main protagonists and supporting characters are all young people. And that's no coincidence. I think that's the design intended by the writer, which actually ties in to the incarceration of Beatrice. If she made it out of the manor along with the siblings, then they'll just be following their mother's orders instead of going on a journey into the world by themselves and be forced to make tough decisions, and do mature actions at a young age, which, in my opinion, is the underlying theme of the whole game. Back during the 14th century, the idea of childhood is very different from the modern world. Today, one is officially recognized as a young adult at 18. Back then, a person is already considered as one by the age of 12. In this age, you became a man at 12, and from then on, you were expected to participate in manhunts for dangerous criminals. In early medieval society, you were considered an adult by age 12 in the eyes of the law. People did not live long lives back then, so adulthood started early. As mentioned in the latter clip, the shorter lifespan of people back then most likely had something to do with it. Apart from armed conflicts like the Hundred Years' War portrayed in one chapter, or a virulent disease like the plague caused by the rats, getting sick in general was life-threatening, as medicine was still based on the four humors which is antiquated. A lot of ailments and injuries which are treatable today were potentially fatal back then, so it's no surprise that early adulthood was a norm. Apart from their parents' hope for their offsprings to make it to adulthood, Learning to fend for themselves at a young age would serve them well, in case something bad happens. Throughout the story, we saw the protagonists get thrust into the harsh realities of their situation that ultimately tested their character, and came out at the end of the game as tougher, more resilient individuals. They might as well have called the game a plague tale loss of innocence, but I guess that's a mouthful, and too on the nose, so they shortened it a bit. It's quite interesting that throughout the game, we saw glimpses of the fact that these people are just kids. No, no, no! Loose the dragons! <coughs> Come on, back off, you! Retreat before Amicia the Amazon and Melly the Fury! Amicia, you won't believe it! Roderick beats Arthur at the sleep. That's not true. He was in front of the line. <laughs> You're just rubbish. <laughs> oh, you two are arguing again. But at the same time, we, the player, get reminded ever so often that as life moves forward, something inevitably gets left behind. I hope they're all right. If the rats have got in... Amicia, they're not kids anymore. They're used to it. Ready? I'll show you I'm not a child anymore. You never found anything? No. And I was really good at searching. But there are two of us this time. And you're not a child anymore. We'll find it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. So let's go. To the death. To the to death. The death. <laughs>